So right now, I am at Ellesmere Canyon, where earlier today, a celebration was held. The celebration included city council members, dignitaries, and activists who came together 25 years ago to make sure that this area was not turned into the world's largest garbage dump. In the 1980s, Ellesmere Canyon was proposed to be the site of a 190 million ton landfill and would have been the largest dump in the world. A groundswell of opposition from local residents led to the city, with the help of federal legislators and the Walt Disney Company, to stopping the landfill proposal. The 842 acres of open space purchased by the city is the last of the undeveloped land now preserved for the public to enjoy. Ellesmere Canyon encompasses about 2,600 acres with 1,200 acres owned by the U.S. Forest Service and 400 acres donated to the Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority. Recently, Ellesmere Canyon was annexed by the city of Santa Clarita into its boundaries. Councilmember Marsha McLean talked about the day. Today, we are here celebrating the fact that Ellesmere Canyon is finally in public ownership and annexed in the city of Santa Clarita after 25 years of first it being a done deal that we were going to have the world's largest dump at the gateway to our city to today where it is open space forever. It, it links to Whitney Canyon, Placerita Canyon, the Santa Monica and San Gabriel Mountains and it is preserved forever and the SCV Canyons Preservation Committee was formed 25 years ago to make sure that this day happened and I can't thank the people who worked all those years in this valley to help save this canyon from being the world's largest garbage dump. What's the biggest thing you take away from after this long journey? I think the biggest thing is is don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't win a fight. It was David versus Goliath when we started. I mean it was I started it with two other wonderful women. There, first there was three of us, and then it culminated with 5,000 of our residents appearing at a public hearing in Valencia. 10,000 people signing a petition to the Forest Service saying that we did not want our Angeles National Forest turned into the world's largest garbage dump. And it took trips to Washington, it took uh, Congressman Buck McKeon, it took Senator Barbara Boxer and legislation that finally saved this canyon and it could have been a smaller dump. We didn't let that happen either. And put this in perspective, because you talked about next door Whitney Canyon. If this turned into one of the world's largest dumps, Whitney Canyon would have been an off-road vehicle? Uh, yes, it was proposed to be an off-road vehicle park because that would be compatible um, to canyons next to a landfill. And it would have been like dominoes falling. First Ellesmere Canyon, then Whitney Canyon, and Placerita Canyon could not have survived with the wildlife corridor and all the riparian habitat. It just couldn't have. So we would have been a very different city today if we had allowed that dump to be built. Yeah, you seem awfully proud of your fellow Santa Clarita citizens. I am. I mean, we all came together. It didn't matter what you felt about the environment or didn't feel about the environment. This was something that we all needed to come together to fight. And now that this fight is won, we need to go the next step and stop that Semex mine. So that's it from Ellesmere Canyon. What 25 years ago was guaranteed to be the world's largest garbage dump is now guaranteed to be protected for future generations to enjoy.